Hello guys, so in this video we will be going to discuss how we can create an CI CD pipeline for deploying react app onto AWS S3. Okay, so what I have done till now, so I have a basic repository, a basic react application onto the Git, GitHub. Then after I have already created an S3 bucket with name react app host AWS master chef hyphen bucket, which is which I have made publicly accessible and also inside the properties i have enabled the static website hosting as well so that is enabled and i have used like the path as index.html so if i open this url now you can see it is kind of saying 404 not found the reason being is i don't have anything like any any object or any files inside the aws s3 okay so now we will going to see how we can create an pipeline for that perspective okay so there are two things the first one is pipeline and then after we do a build a project okay so what is pipeline pipeline is like let's say you push and change onto a github repository a pipeline needs to be triggered okay so that pipeline is basically responsible for uh, first pulling the uh, project or like the files and folders from the github second then after a code build project will be going to run uh, in which input will be the downloaded code and output will be uh, the builded build react application basically and then after again that pipeline would be responsible uh, th th like the third stage would be the deployment and that would be done by using AWS deploy okay so let's see how we can enable how we can implement that and you would got got the clarity okay so I already have this application so what I will do I will go here and started like just click on create pipeline so i will name it as react app host pipeline okay so you can provide any relevant name then after i will keep all the configuration as default then after click on next inside the source provider i will select the github then after i have to click on connect to github so once you got the I think you would be getting the prompt to enter your credentials as well if you are not already logged in so you can confirm on this although you can select any other method as well either the AWS S3 ECR or anything like that okay so once done you can select the repository so the repository name would be react app and branch would be main for me and then after next so inside the build provider it is asking like how would it build this project basically this react application okay so for that perspective we have to create a build project okay so let's create a new build project i will name this as react app build project okay uh, then after it is asking for how does how you want to provision like you you wanted to reserve and capacity but we will keep this in on demand it would be like uh, pay as you go model for us if we select this reserve capacity it will be costing us 24 by 7 doesn't matter if they are running our pipeline or not right then after we will select manage image compute you can select anyone ec2 or lambda obviously lambda would be a little fast i think then after operating system keep all the configuration as default then after it is asking for insert the build command so build command is basically you know that like for building react application we have to run two command like usually npm install and then after the npm run build okay so either we can write those two command here or what we can do we can use a build spec file and this build spec file would be inside your github project only okay so i will show that but for now let's select this use a build spec file then after i think keep all the configuration as default and click on continue to code pipeline So it will take a little time i think not more than i think 10 12 seconds yeah so it's done so i will click on this so now you can see project name is auto filled with react app build project so that's it if in case let's say your application have some environment variable you can add environment variable here but as of now you don't have an environment variable so i will click on next then after it is asking for where and how you want to deploy it right so we have to add the deployment stage so i will select it like we have we wanted to deploy it it on AWS S3 bucket would be react app host AWS master chef bucket then after it is asking for S3 object key uh, so I will keep it blank and ex click on extract file before deploy the reason being is the ABAP stage would create the artifacts inside the zip so we have to unzip it right and then after click on next 
so it will show all the configuration and that's it so it is creating pipeline so when this pipeline is created it would be going to auto run first time right so now you can see it is first time it is kind of source so basically it is pulling the project from github second step would be it will build it and third would be to, it, it will deploy it so now you can see as of now my this 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 is blank right there is no files but once this deploy stage is done it would have file and definitely we, this 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 website will also work right so meanwhile it is deploying this this is building it what we can do we can go here and see the build spec.yml so this build spec.yml is again a very simple file version 0.2 tells aws to how to uh, basically uh, uh, handle this 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 yml file then after i think we have phases so inside the phase i think we have install so we kind of uh, like you just provided the runtime version you can provide any version pre-build command or post-build command are basically there are three stages usually pre-build build and post-build pre-build is like you want to run something build so we just wanted to click like run npm install build this page we wanted to run npm run build and let's say you wanted to do something after build as well post build so you can do that as well okay so once this is done then after we are kind of is uh, provided a new uh, artifacts so artifact is like once this this npm run build is done so whatever files there are okay so we have to store it somewhere right so we are we, that we called as artifacts in aws and here we are telling base directory as build so you know it like right? this react application basically once you click like once you run npm run build it is going to run a build folder right so we are telling by this you have to copy build folder by, by like all the files of the build folder and keeping path right we are we have like provided discard path as no right so let's say if you have multiple files inside the static folder so it will copy the static folder same to same if you like type yes here it would delete that static folder and keep the all the files on the root only okay so uh, yeah i think this once this is done it is going to store all the artifacts in a in a temporary bucket so that temporary bucket is usually with name code pipeline hyphen a unique number so i think yeah that's it so let's quickly switch over to again here so now you can see the source stage is done build stage is done we can view details and uh, kind of it has built the uh, running command npm run build and this is success sort, sort of and this deploy has also success so now if we are going to refresh it yeah so here we can see like we do have the build build file basically so if i run it so now we have this application running right let's say now if we go here and inside the app.js let's say make some changes okay i make some changes okay as soon as i commit those changes yeah we have committed those changes so now you would be going to see it is it again started to pull this repository right so that is basically the trigger so i think once this source would run then after again build again deploy and then after we can see uh, the 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 uh, the changes are deployed onto the aws s3 so that's it for this video i think it will going to take time so i will not uh, uh, make this video longer but yeah definitely it would be it has started to create the build and will deploy it as well okay so that's it for this video if you have any feedback for me do let me know please do subscribe to the channel thank you